Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kim. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are not already subscribed, please make sure and go ahead and do that right down below. Also give this video a thumbs up and comment if you guys watch any of my other videos and you know I do respond to the comments. So today's video is just going to be really short, sweet, right to the point. I'm just going to be talking about the two wigs. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my Freedom Couture wigs. Um, as you guys know, I got these wigs from them not that long ago and I feel as though this video was long overdue um, just you know on how the hair has held up now I mentioned to you guys in a few of my other videos that I don't wear my wigs unfortunately on a daily basis I typically will only wear my wigs when I go out just because I'm working and I don't want to like waste my wig working so I really only wear them when I go out so I the hair has definitely held up just because it doesn't get that day-to-day -day wear and tear um, the quality is still the same. I definitely still feel the same way about the wigs as I did the first time that I got them. That has definitely not changed. Now one of the things that has changed for me, um, as you guys recall, um, I loved this like elastic band method they had. Um, I thought it was so innovative. Um, unfortunately, I just think for where I'm at today, um, and that's where I glued on my wigs, I just don't think it works. Um, and I'll tell you guys why. So it's nice that it comes on and off, but typically when I'm wearing my wigs, um, I like to leave the elastic band on because I like that extra security because I typically don't glue my wigs on in the back. I just glue it down in the front. So this thing is nice. However, it's so thick, as you guys can see. I don't know if I can get a little bit closer. It's so thick. It's so stiff and so close to the edge of the lace. As you guys can see, there's not much lace here from where the end of this is, is that if you glue this down, even with this on, even with it off, it ends up just like popping right back off. Like the, well, I don't really use glue because I really don't wear my wigs out like that. So I would normally use like the got to be glued spray. But if I spray this down with the got to be glued spray, it just pops right back up. So it's just not very convenient for how I wear my wigs. I honestly think that's probably my only complaint about my Freedom Couture wigs is that elastic band. Um, like I said, I thought it was really nice in the, in the very beginning, but once you wear the wig, it actually is more in the way um, than more helpful. So I'm definitely going to be cutting those off. I am looking for another wig from her, preferably in blonde. Um, I don't really want to buy like a high-end wig and then just get like black because I just feel like I can, like this way that I meet, I can just make one in black or if I want brown, I can dye it in brown. I want something that's a little bit harder to achieve to keep the quality of the hair as good as she's kept the quality of the hair for these two wigs. So I was looking at one of her wigs, the um, King, isn't the King Kylie? I don't know what it's called. I'll probably leave the name somewhere up here, but it's a long bob. It's like 13, 12, 13 inches, but it's 130% density. And as you guys know, I don't really feel too well about 130% density, especially if the hair is going to shed over time. Um, that 130 that's already thin is just going to get even thinner. Now, in terms of the shedding with these wigs, um, I haven't experienced anything out of the ordinary or out of the norm. I will say, however, this wig, the King Kylie did shed a little bit more than the other one. I don't know why I don't remember the name of the other one. I'm going to put that up here as well so you guys can see what that is. But um, yeah, I don't know why this one shed a little bit more than the other. But aside from that, I'm still completely satisfied. Um, like I said, she definitely has a customer in me. I've been buying wigs, weaves, extensions for a very long time to know what good quality is. And this to me in terms of like hair quality is very premium like the hair is just so unbelievably soft like I don't know how else to describe it so if you're looking for a good wig I would definitely recommend investing your money and getting one from her but if you're gonna do so just buy it at 180 percent density even though that may be a little bit too thick for you you have to consider the fact that the hair is gonna shed so that's all for now thanks for watching